Why don't we go to the Mojave Outpost and get some more supplies first? Yeah, let's go to. The, yeah, we can go to the Mojave Outpost and resupply. Sure. Oh, what the hell is this thing? Ooh, it looks like an insect of some sort. Oh, it's disgusting. We, oh, it's all fat and gross. We are near the ant race tracks. Hold on, we gotta kill these ants first. No, we don't. We could have just left them alone. They have oh. a ranged attack, so no, that we have to take them out. Let's let's get out of here. Hope will wake up and she'll follow us. Or Hope will run up and she'll pass out again as soon as she tries to attack something else. Oh my god, let's just leave. Let's leave. Let's go up this way. Oh good, a super mutant. Well, at least we know we can kill a super mutant. Didn't expect him to show up, and he is intimidated as well. <laughs> He's trying to punch you now. He's given up on trying to use his minigun. Or his flamer? Yeah, cause uh, here, I'm gonna shoot him in the dick. I think that killed him. Yeah, that's down for the count. Oh, is that Malcolm Holmes? No, we killed Malcolm Holmes, remember? Mm, apparently we didn't, cause here he is. What? We killed him! Hello. Oh, he, he attacked us. Huh? You wanna talk some more? No, I have to be going. If you say so, maybe we'll meet again. Apparently so, because you won't stay dead. They go oh look, bar. Hope's here. Taking your silence pistol, taking the minigun, you can have this 10 mil pistol back. I got some bread if you're hungry. Don't eat the tips before the middle though. You'll have trouble making ends meet. <laughs> I don't get it. Don't eat the tips before the middle because you'll have trouble making ends meet. Oh good, she's better at making puns than you are. She's better, better at making puns than both of us. Background? Yeah. Just my luck. What'll it be this time? Uh, it'll be shut up. How about that? I've had a very long, very stressful day. <laughs> Give me all of the whiskey you have. <laughs> Who's your favorite follower in this game? Ooh, uh, my favorite follower. Who's like the one follower you keep defaulting to, like, any time? I like Hope here. Hope, you're a good follower. But, like, who's your favorite follower for the vanilla game? Hmm. I guess maybe Boone, just because he's a sniper, and... Let me, let me think about that for a second. My favorite follower is Cass. I know this. You don't shut up about her. Cass is my favorite follower. Yeah, and she like she's really good with shotguns. So if you're playing a sniper, she's a great background character to have because she follows you around. Anything that gets too close, she blasts it with a shotgun. I think we have enough followers. We only have the one so far, unless you count Malcolm Holmes with who was a temporary follower. Yeah, we'll count Malcolm Holmes. Here's our friend Jacqueline. Howdy, Jacqueline. Hi, Jacqueline. How are you doing? Taking a nap on the side of the road. I see. Well, it's been fun, Jacqueline. See you again. So the question of today is, um, are we just going to go into Nipton and just shoot everything? Or are we going to go in there and listen to what he has to say? Do you want to do more combat? Because I'm getting pretty sick of combat, so... Yeah, well, I guess we can just listen to what Volpez and Colta has to say. Oh, God, we're killing this dude, though. You, you want to talk to him before you blast him? Or you no, want... I'm just going to kill him now. Ah, oh, damn it! Yeah! Who won the lottery? I did! Oh, my God. Smell that air! Couldn't you just drink it like booze? <laughs> oh, I hate you so much. <laughs> All right. I see you get for winning the lottery. Oh, I always kill this guy. Like, every time. He deserves it. I hate him so much. All right, well, let's go, uh, let's go talk to Volpez and Colta. Wow, there's actually nobody up here this time. That's weird. Oh, we got here a bit early, so they don't—they didn't have time to put the bodies up. Maybe not. Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. Uh, well, I mean, technically there's nobody lashed up there, but... Uh... There's one person lashed up here, which is con kind of confusing, but yes, we'll do as you ask. Yes. Then I bid you, Wale. Why is there a Legion soldier on a cross? Yeah, I don't know. True to Kaiser. Does he have anything to say? Watch yourself, profligate. <laughs> he's just, he's intimidate. He's trying to intimidate you, and he's strapped to a cross. Can you move along? <laughs> you're not really. You're not very intimidating up there, buddy. Hold your tongue, wastrel. <laughs> Is there an option to take him off the cross? Nope. What the hell? Watch yourself, I kind of want to shoot him, but I think the moment I do, the the legion is going to become hostile against me. What? They obviously don't care about him because they strapped him Hold to a bloody cross. Tongue, wastrel. Zach, why aren't there people strapped to crosses anymore? 
I don't know why what? is a legion. It doesn't matter what they did or who they were. You don't put people to the cross. You bear it. Same as Jesus did. Oh my god. Hope. And I feel like right now, he's telling us we need to put an end to the Legion. Hope. Please be quiet. Alright, well, we've seen Nipton. Seen the, uh, the glorious tire fires of Nipton. Ooh, we and, found the Nipton sewer. Yeah, we just found the Nipton sewer. Even so, though we found that like 10 minutes ago. This must be the other end we would have eventually come out of. You want to go back in? No, I don't. Me Look at neither. the tire fires. Look at this body roasting on the tire fires. Uh, mm. They put that body in the tire fire. They're going to ruin the Nipton tire fire. God, I'm hungry. You hungry? Not for roasted human flesh. Oh, come on. Tastes like pork. You know, remember that time that we were uh, on an airplane and it crashed in the Alps? Yes, I remember that part. And we had to we had to eat uh, we had to eat Dave to survive. Yeah, Dave and Carl. Dave tasted better. Yeah, Carl was a little gamey. Hope I hope you're not disturbed by this conversation. <laughs> I hope's been unconscious so many times. I don't know if her head works properly anymore. <laughs> Why are we going back to the outpost a third time? So we can let ghosts know that the that Nipton has caught fire. Oh. Watch out! Watch out! Why? What's happening? Malcolm Holmes, is he back? Oh god! What the... What is happening? We leave for five minutes and this whole place goes to pot. Yeah, everybody starts screaming and running. What is going on? Maybe your reputation precedes you. What reputation? Is a terrible shot and a poor conversationalist? Kill... <laughs> That might be the sickest burn I have ever done. And it was on myself. Oh, Ghost is gone. She what? ran away. We're... We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. No, you won't go quietly. You will probably go crying and screaming. Probably go crying and screaming or talking about how you hope there be more gambling. Did Ghost just come in here and pass out? Is that what she did? Ghosts don't sleep. It was time for her shift to be up. So she went in here and fell asleep. She was not properly relieved. She is not allowed to do that. No, she's not. What the hell? Well, I'm glad we came here so we could not complete this quest. That was D certainly, yeah, right? certainly, certainly not a waste of time. Thank God. Heard you helped out, Jackson. Thanks for that. Caravans are still waiting for clearance to move out. But at least there's movement. Sergeant Kilborn, the Legion attacked Nipton. What? There's no way. We're miles from the Colorado. They... they aren't even waiting for the dam to fall. They're already inside the borders. We'll never stop them. Not at this rate. We're doomed. Sergeant Kilborn hung himself that night. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, man, that's dark! <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> Alright, well, whatever. Let's just go back to Nipton. Okay. So, we came here the first time. They just oh, he's not on the cross anymore! He's just walking away! <laughs> Is that the... Wait, that's the guy that was up on the cross? That's the guy that was up on the cross. He was up on this one, and now he's not. He just cut himself down. So he I was guess... like, you know what? I'm done with this place. Well, let's keep heading east. Heading east to Novak. We'll get to Novak eventually. I've got a question for you. If you had a time machine, what would mm -hmm. you use it for? Is this a... I've thought about this before. There's a lot of things I want to go back in time and see. The problem is most of them are actually, like, really arbitrary and boring. Like, I want to go back in time and see the Somerton Man before he dies. I don't know who that is. The Somerton Man was this guy that, uh, that died in Australia. And he had a copy of the Tom and Shud on him. You, I don't know what that is either. Which is like this really weird book that's, like, never really been reprinted. Oh, Christ. Oh. Yeah, Wolfhorn Ranch can keep it. Well, what's, what, Wolfhorn Ranch can keep what? Uh, there's just robots at Wolfhorn Ranch. They can keep it. Should we take Wolfworm Ranch? No, they can keep it. How many robots? I I don't know. I don't want to fight any more robots. Look, at I can see there's like at least five of them. You picked I'm... up a bunch of pulse grenades and now's a good time to use them. Oh my god, no. I'm done fighting robots. What are you, chicken? Alright, fine. We'll go deal with these robots. <laughs> Okay, anyway, I'm not gonna go on a whole tangent about the Summerton Man. It's this really weird unsolved case and people are pretty convinced that he was like a like a Russian spy or something. So you would go back in time and solve that mystery? I would go back in time and meet him. I would also go back in time 
um, and find out who the uh, find out who the Zodiac killer was. I think that'd be interesting. Um, You've got this monumental power of time shifting yeah. and ch- and changing the flow of history, and you're just gonna go. Oh, figure out this mystery that has relatively little consequence in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. I mean, if the universe is self-correcting for paradoxes, then, like, I, there really isn't any point to change anything because the universe is just going to fix it the moment you change it. But if it isn't self-correcting for paradoxes, then you might destroy the entire universe by going back in time and trying to change something. Every day is- Die, die, die! Alright. He started saying something, but we killed him before he could finish. Good. All right, if you could go back in time, what would you do? Well, I was just asking because the normal response that people would get is, oh, I'd go back in time and kill Hitler. So I was kind of thinking maybe you'd do something grandiose like that. No, actually, if I could do anything, I would go back in time and stop the guy that shot Franz Ferdinand, and I would stop World War I from happening. That would be a very good thing to do, I suppose. Because if you stop World War I from happening, you stop World War II from happening. Well, in theory, of course. In Butterfly, theory, butterfly yes. Effect. In, in practice, it probably wouldn't actually work like that. Hey, everybody, how are you guys doing? What would you stop if you could go back in time, mercenary? But when people say, I want to go back in time and kill Hitler, I'm thinking, do they want to go back in time to when Hitler was 30 years old and kill him while he's ruling Germany? Or do they want to go back in time and kill him when he's a child? Because it's going to be really difficult to kill Hitler when he's an adult, because a lot of people were trying to kill Hitler and they did not succeed. Yeah. So I guess they'd go back in time and kill him as a child? Yeah, that would be my guess, is people probably go back in time and try to kill Hitler when he's a wee little baby. But see, if you go back in time and kill Hitler when he's a baby, you actually haven't killed a baby that's killed anyone or done anything terrible. I mean, yeah, that is kind of an interesting point. If, like, if you go back in time and you kill Hitler when he's a baby, you killed a baby that has not actually done anything. Right. And if you have the ability to go back in time multiple times, are you just going to kill other world leaders that cause problems like that? I would, if I was going to pick a world leader to kill so that they never did anything, it would be Mao Zedong. Yeah, see, Mao Zedong, and then Hitler, and then Mussolini, and you'd have to kill them all while they're infants. So now you're, you're, you're using your powers to just commit time-traveling infanticide. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Ah, yes, Novak. Home sweet home. The greatest place that a man can be in. I think we shall... Oh, look! Hey there, friend! Said the men that jumped me. We're heading this way, correct? No, don't believe I did. No, I know you did, because we were talking, and we're like, Hey, Victor, have you seen the people that killed us? And you were like, Hog killing time! Hog killing time! Hog killing time! Let us go rent a room. Rent a room from Jeannie Mae? Yes, Maybe indeed. Maybe loot her safe and get evidence that she's a criminal? Yes. I'm Jeannie Mae. I take care of folks here at the motel, long as they aren't troublemakers. She takes care of folks, mm. if you know what I mean. She takes care of folks, well, the men, well, the unmarried ones, you know. By takes care of folks, I meant that she sells them to the Legion. Oh yeah, she does do that, because we already know about your criminal background, Jeannie We do already know about your criminal background, Jeannie Mae Crawford. So welcome to our room. Yeah, our little home away from home. Well, I mean, this is our home. This is where we live. I guess it is now. We're not going back to Good Springs. Yeah, let's go back to Good. Where, where, wait, where do we live in Good Springs? Uh, well, I live in the bar. You can live in Easy Pete's house. I don't. It smells so weird in Easy Pete's house. <laughs> what does it smell like? They're like mothballs, whiskey. I don't think he brushes his teeth. Honestly, I don't think he does brush his teeth. I mean, I don't brush my teeth either, though. You? Why are we traveling with you? I. Uh... Oh, that's right. I remember now. I specifically chose you to come with me so that I would look better by comparison to any women we come across. Exactly. See, aren't you glad you brought me with you now? I am. I'm so glad. Look, Hope, it's the eye candy. 